Welcome everyone to Pat's Prem, a channel that will discuss everything football, paying particular attention to the most riveting league in the world, the Premier League. Today, for my very first video, I'll be exploring the nature of Chelsea's extravagant and arguably impulsive purchase of Borussia Dortmund's 20-year-old winger, Christian Pulisic. The Chelsea board of directors has suffered heavy criticism following this financial move for multiple reasons. So, why did Chelsea splash upwards of £57 million on Christian Pulisic? What does this mean for Chelsea Youth Academy product Callum hudson odoi And finally, can this purchase truly be justified? Let's begin with what Chelsea was thinking in signing Pulisic. American wonderboy Pulisic is seen to manage as a promising talent, especially considering the interest he conjured up from Premier League rivals Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur last season. The most obvious reason as to why he was snatched up is because Chelsea are desperate to find a long-term replacement for Belgian ace Eden Hazard, who currently sits on 10 goals and 9 assists after 21 games this season, in which he appeared 20 times, 3 times as a sub. The Belgian is 28 on the 7th of January and is constantly linked to a big move to European giants Real Madrid. Christian Pulisic, on the other hand, is just 20 years old and has previously expressed his burning desire to appear in the Premier League, suggesting that he won't treat the club as a gateway to bigger things. Furthermore, his ability to work in multiple positions, including winger, forward or cam, is reminiscent of Hazard's days. We must remember that Chelsea has a poor reputation in the history of nurturing younger talent, even when they've been brought in. Here's some of those more recent failures featuring the likes of Romelu Lukaku, De Bruyne, Mo Salah and Bakayoko. But what makes Pulisic such a special player? Well, behind the numerous YouTube compilations of his skills, goals and assists, Pulisic can boast some impressive stats, given his age. With already 115 appearances for German giants Borussia Dortmund, who are currently putting Bayern's seven-year-long reign over the Bundesliga to the test as they sit six points clear at the top, Pulisic has a total of 15 goals and 24 assists to his name. For country, Pulisic remains the US's youngest ever goalscorer at 17 years and 253 days. He has since netted eight more times and assisted six in only 23 appearances. Despite this impressive portfolio for a 20-year-old, Pulisic has failed to have a big impact for Dortmund this season, starting only five games and appearing six times off the bench, with two goals and two assists across all competitions, including against Bruges in the Champions League. Though he is still very young and shows promising talents, many will hold that his personal achievements do not match his hefty price tag. But what does this transfer mean for the future of Callum hudson odoi an exciting academy product who joined the club at 7 years of age? The 18 year old boy has begun to flourish under new head Maurizio Sarri, who speaks of the boy as potentially one of Europe's best players. He already has 2 Europa League goals to his name in 4 appearances and has managed to burst through the previously thought impenetrable ceilings of the Chelsea first team. With the entry of Pulisic at the end of the season, space will be tightened in an already strong and large squad. Thus, hudson Odoi may choose to look elsewhere for consistent playtime. Fortunately for himself, there is no lack of interest for him, with Bayern Munich proving the most likely option for him to retreat to. The German supergiants have already seen multiple offers for the boy turned down, ranging from 15 to 25 million pounds. However, since Chelsea's purchase of Pulisic, Bayern has stepped up their offer, proposing 30 million pounds plus add-ons to secure hudson Odoi's signature. If Chelsea accepts its offer, which, due to financial fair play regulations, is considered more and more rational, they could be losing out on not only what is considered a huge talent, but what is increasingly valuable to all clubs, homegrown talent, which is required for certain European competition regulations. These factors put Pulisic's signing in a whole new context. Although he is a promising young man, whose achievements thus far in his career truly justify the money lost on his transfer. In my opinion, Chelsea should never have made this deal. Instead, the club should have faith in the ability of hudson Odoi, who may well go on to surpass the likes of Pulisic. This is likely to turn out as yet another tale of Chelsea's broken youth academy system. Perhaps the club should have conferred with Sarri on this one, who claims to have known nothing about this transfer until it was a done deal. Well, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, whether you think this was a good move for Chelsea or not, and please leave some comments as to how you think I can improve this channel and what I should talk about next. Thanks a lot, and goodbye.